Hi, I'm Jan, and this is how you run an embedded machine learning model to classify real-time data coming from the accelerometer on the Azure Sphere developer kit. So what do we need? Well, first of all, a uh, project in Edge Impulse. So here we have continuous gestures, which is one of the tutorials that you can build easily, for example, using your mobile phone. Um, so we don't have data ingestion from the Azure Sphere at the moment. Um, and you need our example repository. Uh, which you can find in GitHub, a Jimbo's example, Azure Sphere MT3620. Um, so this is an example application that runs on the real-time core of the um, MT3620. So on the Cortex-M4 core. Um, and then in real-time classifies data coming in from the accelerometer. So it contains some basic building blocks like the Jimbo's SDK and a bunch of routing codes to hook the accelerometer up to the finished um, machine learning model. So uh, I've cloned that repository locally already. It comes with a model here. So if you don't want to train your own, use that quickly. So let's go to deployment. Then we select the C++ library. Um, we enable Eon because we need to do a bunch of static allocations to make this work that uh, we only have there. Um, so if you build something with Eon, you can completely statically allocate the neural network part here. So no dynamic memory allocation, which is great because then we can move that in uh, much more efficiently. Um, into RAM when running, and we don't have to use the uh, very slow flash on the uh, on the sphere. So here I have two folders: the model parameters folder and a T of light model folder. And those are um, it's more than just a neural network. So this contains my DSV code as well as my anomaly block code as well as my neural network. So it's a full package, full machine learning package. Um, so in the example folder here, I'm using VS Code. I'm deleting the model parameters folder. And I'm doing the same for the T of light folder. Um, and I'm dragging the other two in into the source folder. Copy. Wonderful. So all set. Um, now I can build my application. Um, so we have a small Docker, Docker script running in the container that can do this for you. That pulls everything together, runs it in a list container, pulls in the Azure Sphere SDK as well. So as you can see, I'm developing on a Mac, and that's now a, uh, a viable development environment for me. Um, so now that my application is built, I actually need to flash it onto the Sphere development kit. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to do this on macOS, um, and the instructions on Linux didn't work for me either. So for that purpose, I have a Windows VM laying around here. Go to the right place. Um, and I flash the that, and that is now side loading the application onto the real time core on the Azure Sphere. Um, and after that happens, so I have an FTDI cable hooked up to the Microbus 2 layer, and now the application is starting up. As you can see at the beginning of this application, this is idle. Um, so let's try out and do something with this. Let's move some device up and down. As you see, we'll have to uncertain um, quickly. That is because there's intermediate state that we don't know what's happening. And instead of misclassifying, we'll label it properly. That's where we, the smoothing kicks in. Let's go back to idle. Same thing happens. Um, there's a couple of gestures we picked in. So we also have a snake. Beautiful, also picking up. You can see we use a smoothing window averaging of, uh, of 10 frames, so it takes a while. Um, and we have anomaly detection code. So if something weird is going on, something that is unlike any of the gestures we've ever seen, we know how to tag that as well. And that's one of the classic ML features that we have in Edge Impulse. Really, really powerful stuff. and something you always want to deploy if you're building a real embedded machine learning solution. So if you start shaking this device, it's a bit hard right now because I need two cables, both for my FTDI and to collect on my computer um, for, the, for the normal Azure Sphere. Um, that works as well. So a really nice, really fast and smooth application. Um, we can show you some timings here if I know where the reset uh, button is. So the very first time that we run this application, we I thought we printed out some timings. Um, so what we have about here is, yeah, we run the whole, we run this five times a second. Um, on data that's coming in at 60 hertz from the accelerometer, and the time for inference is about 18 milliseconds. So really, really fast. So we're still spending lots and lots of cycles actually just 
doing nothing. Um, which is great if you want to build a low power application running on the real time core. Um, so yeah, I said, had to get up example, Atmosphere MT3620. I can give you access if you want. It's not a public repository at the moment, but it works with any accelerometer model, whether it's just a small neural network, whether you're using complex digital signal processing algorithms. And if you want to combine it with classic ML, that works out of the box as well. Just drop your model in there, flash it to the sphere and uh, now it's ML enabled. Thank you.